Hey everybody, it's Pastor Mike again. I want to welcome you to another Minutes with Mike. Uh, first of all, Merry Christmas. Uh, today is Christmas Eve, and we are blessed to be able to, to come together and uh, just share in the birth of Christ. And so I pray that wherever you are, that you and your families are safe and you're doing well uh, this uh, time of the year, and that you are able to connect with your loved ones as we move forward the next couple days, uh, either virtually or hopefully in person as well. And we are preparing today for our regular Christmas Eve service. Now to say regular in 2020 uh, is always a little weird uh, because it will be different. It's going to look and feel different, but we're going to have the same traditional elements We'll have the wonderful music. We will read through the Christmas story, uh, the biblical account. We will have a lighting candle ceremony at the end of the service in which we sing Silent Night together. And so we will be worshiping our God this evening for our Christmas Eve service. And unfortunately, we won't be able to see all of you, uh, and that uh, hurts our hearts, but uh, we know that we are still together and united through this. And so we do pray for a blessing for you this uh, Christmas season. And tonight we are going to focus on the final name of Jesus that we've been uh, sharing with. Because uh, our theme this Advent season has been unwrapping the names of Jesus. And today our name that we will unwrap is Emmanuel. And I want to read to you from 1 Matthew uh, 22 through 23. And this is after the angel had appeared to Joseph. In verse 22, it says, All of this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son. And they will call him Emmanuel, which means... God with us. That is the final name of Christ. God with us. Briefly, I want to look at what Emmanuel means. Three simple words. God with us. To unpack that briefly, God, what does that mean? Well, this baby in a manger is the divine presence of of the creator of the world. God Almighty has come down to be with his people. This wasn't a prophet. This wasn't an angel. Uh, this wasn't a, a good man who was a teacher. This was God in flesh. God came down on Christmas. The second word, with. Well, that's a proper, our preposition, and it implies connection. It implies presence and involvement and interaction. And it's not for or around or by. It is with. God with us. And so what does that mean, to be with someone? You invest in them. You commit to them. You love them. You care for them. That's what God has done with Christ. Christ has come to be with us, to walk with us, to love us, to live with us. His presence is here with us. Finally, the last word, God with us. Well, that's you, that's me, but it's so much more than that. It is all of creation. It is humanity in itself. God didn't come for a select group. He didn't come for the Israelites. He didn't come for those who behaved themselves. He came for all. Sinners, those who needed him, those who were hurting, those who were discarded, those who had been cast aside. God with us. Each one of us in a unique way personal way. God has come down to be our Savior. That's his name. That's who he is. That's what he is. 
the divine presence coming and connecting with his creation and his children so that he could save each one of us from our sins. That's what Christmas means. That's what we celebrate. That's what we will honor tonight in our Christmas Eve service. The presence of God, the incarnate glory of God come down to be with his children so that he could save us all. That's the Christmas message. And so I thank you for sharing with me just in these few moments. And I thank you for connecting with us through Facebook and through our YouTube channels. You can always uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can like us on Facebook uh, and share it with your friends. Uh, and so everyone can have experience uh, to be able to connect with each other. And so I say to all of you out there, Merry Christmas and have a blessed new year.